Hello and welcome back to my channel, Glory to Jesus, Honor to Mary and Joseph. Hundreds of pilgrims have descended on a Benedictine monastery for religious sisters in rural Missouri. In recent days, after news began to spread on social media last week that the recently exhumed remains of the contemplative others African American foundries appeared to be incorrupt four years after her death and burial in a simple wooden coffin. Sister Wilhelmina Lancaster OSB founded the Benedictine Sisters of Mary, Queen of the Apostles, best known for their chart topping Gregorian chants and classic Catholic hymns albums in 1995 at the age of 70 leaving the Oblate Sisters of Providence, her community of over 50 years to do so. Known for her devotion to the traditional Latin Mass and her faithfulness to Benedictine contemplation and the liturgy of the hours, she died at age 95 on May 29, 2019, on the vigil of the Solemnity of the Ascension. Roughly four years later, on the solemnity of the ascension in the Latin rite, the abbess and sisters decided to move her body to a final resting place inside their monastery chapel, a long-standing custom for founders and foundresses. Expecting to find bones, the Benedictine sisters instead unearthed a coffin with an apparently intact body even though the body was not embalmed and the wooden coffin had a crack down the middle that led in moisture and death for unknown length of time during those four years. We think she is the first African-American woman to be found incorrupt. The current abbess of the community, Mother Cecilia OSV, said, As the head of the monastery, it was her role to examine what was in the coffin first. The body was covered in a layer of mold that had grown due to the high levels of condensation within the cracked coffin, despite in dampness. Little of her body and nothing of her habit disintegrated during the four years. Unbelievable. The shock was instant for the community who had gathered to exhume her. I thought I saw a completely full intact foot. And I said, I didn't just see that, the abbey said, so I looked again more carefully. After she looked again, she screamed aloud, I see her foot. And the community, she said, just cheered. I mean, there was just this sense that the Lord was doing this, she said. Right now, we need hope. We need it. Our Lord knows that. And she was such a testament to hope and faith. And trust. The Catholic Church has a long standing tradition of the so called incorruptible saints, more than a hundred of whom have been beatified or canonized. The saints are called incorruptible because years after their death, part of or even the entirety of their bodies are immune to the natural process of decay. Even with modern embalming techniques, bodies are subject to natural processes of decomposition. According to Catholic tradition, incorruptible saints give witness to the truth of the resurrection of the body and the life that is to come. The lack of decay is also seen as a sign of holiness, a life, a life of grace lived so closely to Christ that sin with its corruption does not proceed in typical fashion but is miraculously held at bay. A beautiful sign. Rumors of the flood cracking open the grave and the sisters exhuming the coffin by flashlight in the middle of the night are highly exaggerated. The abbey said, I had to have the flashlight because you can really see in a dark crack even with the sunshine. I thought I saw a foot, but I just paused because you know it's not every day you look into a coffin she recounted so there's kind of a sense of a little bit of hesitation what am i going to see 
Mindful of the crack and the death in the coffin, the sisters carefully removed the body. The skeletal remains should have weighed about 20 pounds. Instead, the sisters were lifting what they estimated to be a body weighing between 80 to 90 pounds, the abbey said. The sisters have since produced a fast sheet to answer questions about the exhumation. Not only was her body in a remarkable preserved condition, her crown and bouquet of flowers were dried in place. The profession candle with the ribbon, her crucifix and rose were all intact, the sister reported. Even more remarkable was the complete preservation of her holy habit made from natural fibers for which she fought so vigorously throughout her religious life. The synthetic veil was perfectly intact, while the linen of the coffin made of similar material was completely deteriorated and gone. Abbe Cecilia stressed that the preservation of the habit is a large part of what she sees as miraculous because the habit is a beautiful sign that this life is not all there is. People see us and it's like, oh, she's a sister. Oh, she's wearing that because she's living her life. She believes in God. Maybe I should think about God, she said. Nothing that the habit is a sign of the things to come, of the supernatural and of her last end. Heaven, hell. Or purgatory. This is not possible, she said of the incorruptible sister's body. God is real. He protected that body and that habit to enkindle our faith, to rekindle it, to bring people back to the faith. Isn't this amazing? A sister that dies since 2019, still perfectly intact. As you, as you can see, this is the monastery. Glory be to God. We pray that God will give us grace to live a worthy and holy life here on earth so as to be incorruptible. Amen. <laughs>